নমস্কার ছাত্র ছাত্রী সকল স্টাডি রেসফুল ইউটিউব চ্যানেল টুলে পুনর্বার তোমালক স্বাগতম জানাইছো আজির এই ভিডিওটিত দশম শ্রেণীর দুই হাজার ওঠর বর্ষর ইংরাজি প্রশ্ন কাকতর ই সেকশন আলোচনা করিম সো লেটস স্টার্ট দ্য ভিডিও কুয়েশন নাম্বার টুয়েন্টি ফাইভ ট্রেন্সলেট ইন টু ইংলিশ উইড ইন ব্রেকেট এনি ওয়ান গ্রুপ অব দ্য ফলোয়িং কুয়েশন নাম্বার টুয়েন্টি ফাইভত দুটা গ্রুপ দিয়া আছে আমি তার যুক্ত এটা এটেম করব লাগে প্রথমতে ইংরাজিল অনুবাদ দিছে যার কারণে ওয়ান ইন্টু ফাইভ টোটেল ফাইভ মার্কস আছে এ মীনা যেনেকা বুদ্ধি হোক লীলাও তেনেকা লীলা ইজ অলসো এজ ইন্টেলিজেন্ট এজ মীনা বি জুনে রাতি পোহর দিয়ে ডি মুন শাইন্স এট নাইট অনলি সি তুমি কালি স্কুল গেছিলা নে ডিড ইউ গো টু স্কুল ইয়েস্টারডে ডি হি ককায়ক খুব ভাল পায় হি লভস হিজ ব্রদার ভেরি মাচ ই রিন্টুয়ে কিন এটু কি সুন্দর পুতলা রিন্টু সেট হোয়াট এ বিউটিফুল ডল ডিস ইজ এইবার আমি অর বা অথবা থাকা গ্রুপ লো ইয়াত আমার পেসেজ বা পাঠাংশ এটা দিছে যার সবস্টেন্স লিখব দিছে এটা প্রশ্নটি হল সবস্টেন্স রাইটিং কি সবস্টেন্স রাইটিং হয়েছে ছাত্র ছাত্রীয়ে মূল পাঠাংশ বা পেসেজটু নিজা শব্দ পুনের লিখা যতলকে মুখ্য বিষয়টু বা অত্যাবশ্যকীয় ধারণাখিনির চমু স্পষ্ট আর সঠিক সারাংশ লিখব এই পেসেজট শারীরিক পরিশ্রম করার পিছতো কিতাব পড়ি পয়া মনোরঞ্জনের কথা কোয়া হয়েছে পেসেজ এটার সাবস্টেন্স লিখোতে আমি সুইটেবল টাইটেল এটা দি লম আর এই পেসেজটোর কারণে সুইটেবল টাইটেল হব হ্যাপি রিডিং এ হার্ড ওয়ার্কিং মেন ইজ মোস্ট এমিউজড বাই এন এন্টারটেইনিং বুক ইট ডাজ নট মেক হিম ফিল টায়ার্ড ইট ব্রিংস লাইভলিনেস টু হিজ লাইফ বিসাইডস আওয়ার ব্রেইন বিকামস ফ্রি ফ্রম এনি ইভিল থটস অব দ্য প্রেজেন্ট মোমেন্ট রিডিং এ বুক মেকস এ মেন এনার্জেটিক ফর নেক্সট ডেজ ওয়ার্ক It improves his thought process also. Eventually, he becomes a happy man. In doing so, he comes in contact with writers of all ages. As a result, it feels like he is a citizen of all nations and a contemporary of all ages. I am here question number 26. Write in about 150 words an essay on any one of the following topics. A person to nimna likhet sikuno eta bikhoyor uporot 150 ta shobdar bhitorot ekhon essay likhibo dise yar karone total mark ase 6 prathomote ami e loi ahisu benefits of physical exercise it is well known that a healthy mind lives in a healthy body if a man is not physically fit and healthy his mind cannot be sharp and active human body is very much like a machine it needs to be maintained and looked after properly Physical exercise is of immense help in maintaining good health and fitness. Physical exercise is widely recognized as the best way to keep the body healthy and active. Neglect of bodily health can be disastrous for us. It causes several physical and mental problems. Slowly, our body becomes vulnerable to many diseases. Our energy and beauty is lost early. We grow old early. Strength, stamina and the power of concentration decline. Physical exercise is of different kinds. Different people have different choices and preferences. Many people enjoy morning walk. Some find pleasure in cycling and jogging. Several people like to do gardening and swimming. Many people find it easier and convenient to spend an hour or two in doing workout in a well-equipped gym. Skipping is also a popular way to keep one's body fit and healthy. These days, yoga and meditation are also gaining popularity. Popularity. They are easier to practice and highly effective in keeping one fit and healthy. Regularity in exercise is imperative for the preservation of good health. It is good source of energy, stamina and strength. Consistency adds to the result of exercise. Lack of it cannot bring good result. So we should be very regular and consistent in physical exercise. Physical exercise is a form of discipline. It means self-control and sincerity. We need to neglect our idleness. Physical exercise helps in character building. It makes our mind sharp and active. It improves mental strength and capability. It adds to our capability and improves our performance. Physical exercise done in morning keeps us healthy, fit and active for the whole day. Therefore, we should take it regularly. It is a must to keep us fit and healthy. Hey, bar, I'm in question number 26 or B lo hai so. Your last day at school. That means my last day at school. The memory of my last day at school is very sweet and sad. It was the day when we attended the school to collect our admit cards for the secondary examination. 
As we all assembled in the school hall, the headmaster arrived. Other teachers also came. The headmaster took up the admit cards and handed them to us one by one. He then blessed us in a voice almost choked with emotion. He advised us to be calm in the examination hall and be careful to revise our answers. Particular emphasis was laid on our not taking unfair means and to retain the good name of the school. Other teachers also blessed us and advised us to be honest and sincere. The whole atmosphere turned very emotional. Tears gathered in my eyes. The monitor of our class then got up and expressed our feelings of gratefulness to our teachers. I returned home that day with a heavy heart. A bar, I'm a 26er, or a dear question to Loehisu. Write a story in about 150 words using the outlines given below and adding a title to it. A question to Ama, outliner Hohailoi at a story, Likibo de Se. Story to Likote Ami, Aram Honite, title de Bolagibo, Arujarkarni to tell Mark Asset six. My dear students, Jodi had to Molaka story writing or report video Bissara to our comment box at comment Kuriba. Etiami outline all the twelve full start on a journey, cross a river, count themselves, each one not counting himself, each time counts eleven. A passerby offers to produce the twelfth man, pays each fool a blow, counts twelve. Title Fools Despise Wisdom. Once there lived twelve fools in a village. They worked in their village and never went out of it. They were very happy to stay there. But once on urgent business, they had to go out of their village, though they did it much against their wishes. On the way, there was a large river which they had to cross. As there was no bridge or boat in order to avoid the loss of any one of them in the strong current of the water, they tied themselves with a rope. When they reached the bank of the river, they counted themselves. Each one counted the other eleven and forgot to count himself. They thought one of their companions was definitely washed away in the river. So they started crying loudly. One passerby saw them crying and asked about their problem. He at once understood their foolishness and simple-mindedness. The other men made them stand in a line, started to count and gave each of them a blow and completed counting 12. The fools were very happy, thanked the other men for finding their lost companion and vowed never to go out of their village for the rest of their life. So, moral of the story is, foolishness has no end. Video to Ekinite Hekhol, Isaacson or Part 2 Lai Punar Lok Pam. Ajilo sign up for so. Thank you for watching.